Glad you guys could make it. So, um, this is our first live Wingnut Wednesday. Uh, it's I'm not laughing at you. I'm watching the delay. It's funny. Hey, <laughs> tell Sassy don't look at the screen. She's there's a delay and she thinks it's funny. I don't know why. So anyway, um, Grumpus, Smokey, uh, Smoke Ribs, Grumpus, how's it going? And uh, appreciate it. We've got Longest Quest, Daddy Dutch. Hey guys. Um, Welcome to Wingnut Wednesday, episode 10. Uh, we're going to count these episodes until I get tired of counting them, but for now, this is episode 10. And I kind of felt like I have to serialize them just to make sure, you know, past winners never got their uh, prize or their uh, promised product from a vendor. They can go back and reference which episode it was, you know, it makes it easier. So, uh, so this is episode 10, 10 weeks in to Wingnut Wednesdays, guys. Uh, all the previous nine Wingnut Wednesdays were, of course, pre-recorded or just day of that we barely uploaded and, and whatnot. And we decided to switch it up this time and see how it goes and, and go live with you guys. Um, I'm kind of amateur when it goes live, guys, so kind of, you know, bear with me. Uh, and I apologize if I'm going to miss some of the chat here because I, I don't want to, you know, look down and then pretend I'm, I'm looking at you because I'm not. And that wouldn't be fair to you guys, but uh, but who knows? Um, maybe I can get Sassy to talk while I look at the chat. Um, oh, okay. So Kent is filming a meatloaf video right now. Nice, nice. I love meatloaf. So um, what, what's in it? Or do I have to wait for the video? You gotta wait for the video, baby. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we all love meatloaf and we've done quite a few meatloafs and i know kent can knock out a meatloaf too so i can't wait to see that video man that's gonna be kind of cool um our, our last meatloaf we kind of went off the edge of reality and did a all lamb meatloaf uh it came out pretty good i thought it was kind of delicious so, i thought it was delicious so um guys you might be wondering why i'm wearing this super clean hat i'll have to tell you later um and uh, that'll be coming up in a minute, but you know, you guys know that it might have something to do with the giveaway. Uh, we're, we're on the super team clean, so to speak. Uh, no, super, super clean team. Super clean team. And, uh, and for you guys that have never seen one of our Wingnut Wednesdays videos, um, this is the space where we give back and we uh, uh, get the vendors and the supporters that say they've been supporting our channel uh, by sending us stuff to put their money where their mouth is and turn around and, and give stuff to you guys, our loyal subscribers, and we love you. And, and so we want to share as much as we can. Uh, and that means getting these vendors to turn around and give you guys stuff. I think it's kind of unfair that, I, that we keep getting stuff. And uh, hey, so I'm, we're sharing, and we're sharing. For as long as these vendors stick around. So um, elk and ground beef. Sounds like an Ooh. awesome combination. Ooh, Kent. that makes good chili too. Now, I've never, I've never had elk, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm sure it's good. I've had venison. I don't know if it's the same. Maybe I don't know. So, um, so guys, um, just really quick before we get into the giveaway side of the Wingnut Wednesday, we're actually going to. Well, I'm not sassy. Well, maybe I should let her explain what she's going to do. I'm going to make a ridiculous smash burger. You'll see all the ingredients when I get started. Oh, you're not even going to give them a teaser shot? Well, let me just tell you that my favorite food group is involved. Bacon and beef. <laughs> so pork and beef. All right. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, so we're basically going to, well, okay, she's going to basically going to be griddling the smash burgers live here uh and uh again before we get started on the giveaway you know we give a chance for a few more folks to join us here um but now really quick guys if you're new here um i'm not sure if any of you are or not if you're new welcome uh and if you're not welcome back um we got wednesday what we're doing is we're going to be announcing a certain giveaway that we're going to tell you how to enter in that chance to win there's really not a whole lot of skill involved in this, guys. 
uh, you really only have to do three things, maybe four. Um, like the video, which you should be doing right now, guys, smashing that thumb. You know, don't smash it down, smash it up. But if you guys got to do down, hey, you know, you know. Then you got to comment on this video. And right now, obviously, it's a live stream. You can comment down below. After this live stream ends, it will be uploaded as a video. I might be able to even edit it a little bit, put in some groovy music maybe. I don't know. But, uh, but definitely, if you didn't get a chance to do it during the live stream, go back and hit it up once it's uploaded. Uh, then, obviously, you got to be a subscriber to the channel, guys. I hope you're already a subscriber, so I shouldn't have to tell you twice. So that's it, guys. Three rules to enter a chance to win uh, some products we're going to announce tonight. That's going to be subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. Comment about anything, guys. And on Sunday, during our regular cooking video that comes out every Sunday, uh, we'll announce the winner. And we do it randomly based on comments, guys. And we also check around. We make sure that uh, you know, you've know you also done the other two things. Uh, why are you laughing? I'm sorry. Why is she laughing at me? Are you laughing at me? No, I just don't. She doesn't know what to do. All right. Um, and, uh, she's going to be cooking here in a minute for my dinner. So, hey, really quick, guys. Uh, maybe she can talk to you while I look at the... Uh, so, okay. So, Longest Quest is drinking. C. Lemansky, welcome to the channel. Uh, Grumpus on fire. Uh, so, okay. So, that's it. And, guys, when we do announce who the winner is, one thing you're going to have to provide is a valid U.S. mailing address. So, they can drop ship you. Um, your price. So, guys, this week's giveaway, as you guessed, I know it was pretty difficult figuring out what we're going to give away, but it's going to be some super clean products, guys. You're going to get the original aerosol degreaser. It's basically oven cleaner with, in a purple can, but uh, I've used it. I think it's a little bit better, especially on that Weber kettle that I got outside. It does a really good job cutting through some of that grease. You gotta let it soak up, you know, and, and use a little muscle, but it works really good. We used good. that on the oven, didn't we? It came out so clean. We used it on the oven right back here. See that? God. Okay, at least once uh, uh, that I can remember. And then um, you're gonna get a original pump, uh, original degreaser uh, in a pump action uh, jug or bottle, or whatever you call it. Um, maybe they'll send you a little bit more. I don't know. But that's what is going to be um, uh, announced. Uh, well, I'm announcing it now, but that's what the winner who will be announced on Sunday will get. Uh, you may get more. Maybe you could ask them. Uh, but you're going to get the email or uh, to the product manager, and uh, you'll send them your litter stuff that's oil absorbent. They, they have this oil absorbent, which works really good. They sent me a little pouch. Ask them. What else you got? Ask them what else you want, guys. <laughs> Um, so this is your chance, guys, <laughs> especially in today's economy and stuff like that. I don't want to get into politics, but things are a little bit more expensive. And, uh, you know, let's get some free stuff uh, while we're at it. So, so guys, that's basically what it's all about um, this week. Super clean products. Like, comment, subscribe. And then on Sunday, check out our cook next cooking video uh, after this one, of course. And uh, I'll we, be cooking again. She'll be cooking again. And we're going to announce who won and we do that by a random comment generator, uh, which is a pretty neat uh, little uh, online website. It's called YouTube Random Comment Picker, which is pretty original. Um, and we're going to do it. So uh, who else joined us here in the channel? Uh, all right, I think we got a good quorum here going, guys. I don't, <laughs> uh, she keeps looking at the screen. I keep on... Uh, I'm reading the comments. You read the comments. Okay, I'll stop reading the comments. Guys, so I think it's about time to get out there on the griddle and see what kind of smash burger Sassy here says she can really do because uh, I'm kind of interested in finding out too. So do you think you're ready? I know I'm ready. She knows she's ready. Um, I know my stomach is ready. And, uh, and it's time, guys. So what you got there, babe? Nothing. I saw macaroni cheese right there oh i wasn't <laughs> get out that's it you're fired oh that was a surprise that shouldn't be a secret okay guys so we're gonna stay live here guys and i'm just gonna go ahead and grab the camera here and i'm gonna walk on outside and uh and meet up with sassy so here we go you, you... how about opening the door first
You might see uh, some shaking going on. A whole lot of shaking going on. Sorry. All right, Patch, you're, you're going to have to move, buddy. There we go. There we go. There's the ingredients. Smash burger. Get out of the way, sunshine. Or there won't All be right. any burgers. By the way, guys, uh, we are in Southern California. It's beautiful out here today. Okay. Uh, got the pool going. You know, it's like 76 degrees, which is kind of rare in, by the coast here in Oxnard. Um, and I uh, didn't even have to run a heater uh, there. Uh, but anyway, so I want to show you guys our, our, our rig here. We got a uh, camp chef. Uh, Ooh, two burner explorer stove uh, propane powered um, right now I got it set for about medium on both sides um, but you can kind of see the two hot areas here and this griddle is actually an accessory they don't come with that griddle top it kind of sits on top and then you, you add these little baffles these wind blocks here but really it's, it's more designed for pots and stuff and that's why you get these two hot zones here why it's so obvious it's just a type of you know it's a camping stove guys uh, now you know maybe i'll get a black stone for christmas who knows baby maybe i get a black stone for christmas you're a good boy and uh but otherwise hey we know how to use this thing and uh okay, babe. got my gloves on oh where'd you get those gloves all right so by the way guys we have uh partnered with the Ooh, clean uh Clean Space Project to bring you guys some really high quality gloves here. These are five and a half mil heavy duty nitrile gloves, guys. Uh, I'll leave a link uh, when I can get around to it to the description where you can get these on our Amazon store. Uh, these are pretty good. They, they sent us this box to test out. And actually, in last week's giveaway, we gave out a box of these. Um, I'll see if I can uh, loosen them up and get some more boxes out to you guys. Um, and maybe give them away as a bonus on Sunday, but we'll see. Uh, no guarantees because uh, these guys, I, I really don't know how stingy they are, but uh, I'm going to try to loosen up their, uh, their their shells and get you guys some of this stuff. Why so, are you saying that? Why am I saying what? I don't know how stingy they are. You don't say that. I don't say I don't know how stingy they are. I mean, these guys, you know, I don't know. They might be uh, from I'm not sure how generous somewhere. they will be. That's better. Oh, okay. So I don't They're know gonna how. They're going to give anybody now I, I, I don't know how oh yeah they better you know anyway okay so i'm gonna fall back here yes please and uh now guys i apologize this is live but uh, i'm not necessarily looking at the live comments right now so um um i got you on, the, on, on my camera here so all right babe what you gonna do tell us what's going on i'm gonna smack some bacon on here all right mm. you're gonna smack some bacon on there Looks like sunshine's getting hungry. Oh, yeah. All right. We're going to get this whole griddle full of some bacon beef. All right. Yeah. Nice, nice. Oh, man, look at that. Here's Alina. Hey, Grumpus, appreciate that. Uh, yeah, you guys, slap the crap out of that like button. We appreciate. And uh, it's C. It's high. It's high. C. Lemansky says it's hot. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How about I uh, turn this low and keep this medium? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Hey, thanks, Mark. Uh, some uh, sassy does a really nice job in the backyard. Uh, she works hard at it. I uh, appreciate it. And uh, Grumpus, where are you that it's 93 degrees? Holy moly. All right. So we turned down this camp chef more to medium low or low medium. Uh, oh, really? It's That's definitely hot. You know. And what Sassy's going to do is use the bacon grease uh, in order to uh, do them smash burgers. Yeah, I know the neighbors. The neighbors can definitely smell that. Uh, smell. You can see one of the neighbors' houses right there. Uh, oh, Houston, huh? Okay, yeah, it's definitely hot and sticky in Houston. I got another neighbor over there, but the the coastline is over there, so the wind.
kind of goes that way through my avocado tree and then into that house right there so okay oh there we go what kind of meat is that babe black angus organic beef black angus yeah okay not to be confused with the restaurant no all right now they're already foreign patties so there's not a whole lot to do other than uh, yeah. just smash them okay Okay, I'm not ready to do a smashing yet. All right. Move some things around here. So you guys, comment down below about your favorite smash burger, whether you made one that was your favorite or if, if, if it was somebody else's. Who's, uh, whose was it? What's that, babe? Onions, baby. All right. It looks like we got finely chopped onions. Yep. Oh, baby, you're going to make me cry. Cry, cry, baby. Oh, man. Yeah, you guys, you guys probably didn't know that Sassy knows how to sing. You know, I taught her you know, in the shower. Oh, boy. All right. Now, it's time for the gloves to come off. The gloves are coming off? Gloves are coming off. Look at all that grease. Yeah. So, guys, one thing I don't like about the, this camp, Chef, is that the, uh, the little grease capture thing is really small. Uh, and... Um, I, I'm just too lazy to fashion up a bigger cup or whatever like that, but I put this trash can down there so when it, I could just tip it and go in there, but one drawback. So how do you do your onions, babe? I'm just sauteing them. Just to saute? I'm going to par caramelize them a little bit. Oh, wow. Maybe, maybe I'll move them over here so it's a little higher. Oh, Dave, okay. Dave, Kent, Kent says you're going to be a movie star. Am I? Yeah, you get, we're going to have to watch Kent's video and you'll, yeah. you'll find out what I'm talking about. All right. All right. What are you, what you doing now, babe? Well, I don't know. I'm going to attempt to smash this. Oh, you use that? All right. That will de definitely get it done. And then give it a little twist. There we go. There you go. All right. Now, you guys know that these smash burgers, it's all about smashing it and and, and getting all them and cracks and crevices. We're going to put a little bit of salt. Oh, <laughs> that looked familiar for some reason. Do that again, babe. Oh, okay. And that wasn't salt there. What was that? Oh, pepper. Salt and pepper, that's it? Okay. Salt and pepper. All that's right. it. Ooh, damn. That was a lot of pepper on that one, but that's cool. All right. Now, do you think that's going to be too cool now that I turned it down a little? Uh, maybe. Well, I don't want them to burn. Oh. And I don't want everything else to cook too fast. Well, it's closer to medium. Okay, well, I need a little more heat on my, my onions here. Well, you're in the middle of the two hot zones, babe. So oh. the camp oh. chef has two burners. There's a left burner and a right burner. And they're kind of centralized. In a, so it doesn't really heat evenly, as people would think. You know, this is a camp stove, guys. Um, but, uh, you know, it does the job once you get to know it. You know what they say? You know, you're a pit master because you know you pit. Okay, I need to have a little more heat because I'm about to throw down okay. my main ingredient. Where do you want the heat, left or right? I want it right here. Okay, she wants the heat, so I'm turning up the heat on her, guys. I'm going up medium high, and you going to be screaming. That's one thing about this camp chef, man. Uh, it's easy to let it get away from you, and it, it gets hot, but it really centralizes that uh -oh. heat in two spots. What you got there? Uh-oh. Uh it's a secret. Put just a little bit of this because I don't want this to stick again. Okay, so I just turned the heat up on this side, babe, so that's going to really start right. screaming. What's that? Oh, macaroni and cheese. What you, what you know about macaroni and cheese, guys? Whoa. Damn. So it saves time to make this stuff in advance, obviously. I'll just make three of them. And that's just good old Kraft macaroni and cheese, guys. With a little sassy touch. Yeah, with extra cheese. Yeah. Oh, you used all of it too. No, I didn't, baby. Oh, you didn't? Okay. All right, all right. Got uh, a little Harry right here. Okay, good job on the onions. You know, so you're going to just kind of car caramelize them a little bit? Yep. All right. Okay, I think my bacon is. Ooh, what happened there? Oh, yeah. That's all right. Okay. And a little cheese can't fix. So, guys, uh, in case you don't know, like, uh, um, when you see the brown coming up the edge and you see little 
little volcanoes happening on the top, that's, that's usually a good indication it's ready to flip. And I can turn up the right side too, babe. Yeah, let me, let, me, let me turn it up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Ooh, it's got a little uh, smoke tornado going here. All right, guys. In case you've never seen it, there's my uh, little Traeger over there. So, a couple years ago, I built this uh, custom cart for the Traeger. It's a little Tex, and uh, I made it out of a, a end table bench. Uh, a, a bench. Hey, Joe. Got Joe smoking Joe's pig barbecue. Smoking Joe. Smoking Joe. I'm smoking over the pit right over the this right now. Cap -tap. It, yeah, it's a it's a balmy 72 degrees here. <laughs> in coastal South Central California, and uh, you know, but uh, man, gotta love a woman that pulls out the macaroni and cheese while she's doing a smash burger. I didn't even think of that. Ooh, there we go. Whoa. Yeah, got the onions. Now, what kind of onion is that, babe? It's just a, a yellow onion, a little Spanish onion. Yellow, yellow onion, okay. Yeah. Hey, S and J, cooking with Stephen and Jacqueline in the house. All right. Excuse me, honey. Okay, what do we got here? Hey, we're going to move this. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna grab my bones. You're gonna grab your bones? No, I thought that was my job. Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. Those are looking pretty good right there, guys. Yeah, and she's kind of... You see that macaroni and cheese sizzling in the bacon fat? Mmm, damn. I'm not putting anything on the bun. Okay. I do not want soggy bun. So, what, what Sassy said is that she don't like soggy buns, so they're going on dry. I like my buns firm. <laughs> <laughs> she likes firm buns. All right. So guys, I apologize ahead of time. I might have a little grease on the uh, camera. Okay, now I'm wondering how I'm going to get that macaroni and cheese to fit, huh? Watch this. Oh, there we go. Okay, guys, pro tip right here. Grated okay. cheese to make little macaroni and cheese cakes. All right, all right. Yeah. That looks good. Okay, baby. So you're going to flip those over at some point? Oh, there you go. All right. Okay. Okay. I see what you're doing now. I see what you're doing. Okay. Now, now, I haven't seen anybody actually take macaroni and cheese and make the macaroni and cheese cake. I've seen people... Ooh, that one's getting a little toasty. Yeah, ooh, you got a hot good. spot right there. That one looks good. Yeah. Now, I've seen people take macaroni and cheese and pour it on a smash burger, uh, but I've never seen a, uh, you know, macaroni and cheese cake. Oh, yeah. Those are looking good. Mm, looking good, baby. Got the bacon over there. How about the temperature? Mm. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh, bacon, bacon, oh yeah, where are you going to build this? Right here. Right here? Oh, okay. Uh oh, that macaroni and cheese is sizzling, babe. Wow. That's oh, right, Kent. Okay. 6,500 calorie burgers. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. You better be careful about burn. I know, I'm coming. Oh. Oh, I should have got some, um... Be careful with the buns, babe. Oh, yeah, my buns. There we go. Okay, not bad, not bad. Oh, yeah, that's perfect, actually. Guys, you want your buns toasted because uh, besides being uh, more sexy toasted, uh, they'll hold up to all those sauces and things just a little bit better. You want to put this one back on? Sure. There you go, but that'll probably do it right there, babe. Okay. okay. What I needed was... Um, 
Okay, but you're gonna move this out of the way. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do something. You said That's what? All right. All right. So that's the macaroni and cheese, guys. Grilled macaroni and cheese and bacon fat with a shredded cheese on top. Oh yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's see how this looks here. What are you doing? It's getting a little hot over there, babe. Oh. All right. I'd say them onions are done, guys. What do you think about these onions? Do you think they look done? Getting pretty caramelized. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're done. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. So we got some kind of green sauce going on here, guys. It looks like hatch chili with guacamole or something. I made some guacamole salsa with hatch chili. Uh huh. Okay. Hey, you guys, comment down below what you think of these Camp Chef stoves, if you have one, if you know anybody that has one. You know, I'm not an affiliate or anything. I'm not plugging their uh, product here. Uh, I really like it because of its portability, but uh, I'm kind of on the fence about whether it's, you know, it's a good tool for smash burgers because it has just so many hot areas. You know, it's not one consistent temperature all the way across. It gets kind of crazy. So, okay. Oh. All right, oh, that's the uh, grilled macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Grilled onions, finely chopped. Yeah. What kind of sauce is this, babe? Where's my meat? Oh, it's right here. Where's your meat? <laughs> where's her meat, she where's, asked. Where's my meat? Okay, you know what I did? I screwed up. You didn't melt the cheese. I didn't melt the cheese. That's okay. But it's gonna, know, it's gonna you, melt when you put it on the meat. you know what? Watch this. She can, she can melt the cheese. I'm gonna put my lid on it. Real fast. Okay. Oh, freebie! Oh no! Sunshine snack! Oh, oh she don't like it. Now put it down. So I can grab it. Yeah, that one got it. There you go. That'll be melted. Where's my water? So guys, a little trick is uh, you squirt a little water in there and the steam helps melt that cheese. This will do it too because you're kind of constraining the top a little bit. But, you know, if you don't have a lid like that, uh, just get a little squirt bottle with water and put water around it, uh, and uh, so that'll work out. So, so what, what, what's this? Joe doesn't have enough hair. And they make they make products for that now. We're just not giving any of that away today. All right, check that out. Where's my water? I don't know, babe. Where's your water? It's oil. That's oil. Don't know. Did you bring? It? I don't have any. Never oh. mind. You're not a good assistant. Oh my god, no water. Okay. Okay, we're gonna hang over here. I don't want them to burn. Don't worry guys, I know you're getting hungry. This will be done soon. Believe me. Stop it. Alright. Hey guys, it. if you're uh, just joining us now, this is Wingnut Wednesday, episode 10. And we are giving away some super clean products on Sunday, but we're going to be basing the winner off this video. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment on this video, and we're going to draw your name randomly on Sunday, and uh, you're going to win the original super clean aerosol degreaser and the spray pump degreaser, both really great products, guys. Uh, and you're just going to need a U.S. mailing address uh, in order to uh, do that. If you guys, if you don't have a U.S. mailing address, just your comment, please just put, hey, I'm, I'm from Canada or Timbuktu, and, uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to get it. But we really appreciate you nonetheless. Okay, what you doing here, babe? Putting those grilled uh, onions on there. Now, now, what kind of sauce is this? This is a guacamole salsa. Guacamole with, salsa. With hatch chili. Ooh, of course, hatch chili. I know Joe will appreciate hatch chili. Okay. Hell yeah. All right. Got the grilled, finely chopped onions, American cheese, of course. And on goes. Wait, is that American cheese? The macaroni and cheese. Ooh, look at that. Yes. Of course it does. Oh, get. Mmm. Oh. And what about the bacon? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be an epic serving of bacon. 
Oh man, look at that, guys. Okay. Now you even got the dogs. Like, look at the dogs. They're like, oh, gimme, 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 gimme. This burger will be mine because I don't want to. Where's my sauce? You're moving my stuff, man. All right. Just put a little bit more sauce on I just it. can't have enough of that stuff. Okay. You ready? Ready. Oh, wait, that's the top. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, man, look at that. That's my mac and cheese. That's my smash burger mac and cheese. Hold it on. Let's see it, babe. Oh, mm. yeah. Look at this, babe. Look at that. All right, guys. That's a double smash burger mac and cheese, grilled mac and cheese, hatch green chili salsa, guacamole bacon, salsa and guacamole salsa, and a ton of bacon. And a ton of bacon. And look at that, guys. Now we get to watch. Put your little top on. Now we get to watch Sassy eat it. Oh, no, this is your burger, baby. What? Yeah. How, how about we cut it in half? No, because I'm going to make mine with one patty and less cheese. I can't have oh, so much cheese. man. Okay, you ready? Well, oh, it's my turn for a heart attack? Because yeah. I think Long's question just had a heart attack. Kent's probably nervous, and I'm definitely going to freak out. But uh, mm, all right. Mm, mm. I think a fried egg is a good idea. All right, baby. Get over here. All right, guys. Hey, you've seen me do this before. I ain't, af I ain't afraid. Look at that, guys. That's a gorgeous burger. Wow. Okay. Come on. All right, here we go. Huh. Oh, man. Holy shit. Mmm. Oh yeah, guys. <laughs> oh my God. Oh yeah, guys. This is a hell of a burger. Is it delicious? Mm. Can I throw down on the on the on the chef? Can you throw down? This is a huge burger. Seventy-five dollar yeah. burger. <laughs> Hell's yeah! Look at that. Mmm. Oh yeah, guys. I'm gonna do one more bite, guys, and. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. <laughs> Finger licking good. I should be wearing them gloves from from the uh clean Oh the, space the dogs project. are out here, Daddy. Mm. The dogs are outside, Daddy. They'll clean it up. The dogs outside basically mean yeah, they're cleaning up our droppings, but uh man. They're gonna get sick. This is good. So the green chili salsa, hatched green chili salsa. Guacamole salsa. Yeah, guacamole salsa. You can taste it, it's the over it's the dominant flavor that I'm tasting. Definitely you taste the bacon and the macaroni and cheese, but that salsa, oh man. It's actually a new form of a green chili cheeseburger, uh, famous in Hatch and other parts of New Mexico. They uh, have national pride in their green chili cheeseburgers down there, guys. And this could definitely pass. Well, thank you, Starving yeah, Pig. Yeah, this could definitely pass <laughs> as a green chili cheeseburger. If you've ever been to Hatch, New Mexico. <laughs> that's right, Daddy. That's where you go. Mm. <laughs> You said you were just taking one more bite. Oh, that's right. Nobody wants to see you eat. Well, all right. Well, I gotta clean up. Um, so babe, let's turn this down. How about turn it, yeah, way down. Off. Or off. Mm -hmm. It needs to be uh, shoveled down too. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. All right, guys. Mm. Hey, I'll, one. Ta I'll, ta I'll take my bell. Alright guys, hey. <laughs> comment down below and tell us what you think of Sassy's Green Chili Smash Burger from California. Okay, I'll add that really quickly. But it's, it was delicious. It was over the top. Um, absolutely. Now, Camp Chef is a very unpredictable machine that I'm starting to learn about. This isn't a review of the Camp Chef, but it's probably better for those early morning mountain cooks where you just need some quick, quick breakfast cooked up uh, or put some cast iron on there. But um, it, it's really crazy when it comes to smash burgers because you just don't know how it's going to work out. Um, that smash burger made its match. And I'm going to be finishing that up here in a little bit. So guys, again, thank you for joining us for this Wingnut Wednesday episode 10. Again, we're giving away two super clean products, the original aerosol degreaser, and the pump action degreaser guys. We're gonna announce the winner on Sunday during a cooking video. And all you gotta do to enter to win is thumbs up on this video, guys. 
comment down below come back once it's uploaded after we finish the live stream and uh and then be a subscriber guys share it would be bonus points i'm not sure how i would find out if you share it or not you can tell me hey you share it over here somewhere but okay but i'm not it's not gonna really help you much because we're gonna do a random mm -hmm. comment picker so it's gonna be fair i might be able to get another box of these uh gloves to, to add into that but we'll see i'll have to talk to them and whatever else i could uh figure out um guys anyway that's it so again thanks again for uh watching this live stream guys thank we're, you guys for joining gonna, us we're gonna get eaten and uh don't touch me you know with your I'm gonna, greasy I'm hands. Gonna wash my greasy hands i thought you liked my greasy hands not with my clothes on oh Whoa. man Whoa. okay <laughs> this is supposed to be a g-rated uh, family <laughs> event here but she's escalating sorry. it Sorry. All right, guys. Sorry, YouTube family. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, and hey, guys, there's a lot of great cooks watching right now. Be sure to go visit their channels and subscribe. Look in that comment list. See who's here. And uh, be sure to subscribe to each other's channels. So anyway, guys, take care. Happy Wednesday. We'll see you next time. Thank you.